Last night, the leading Democratic presidential contenders all refused to guarantee American troops would be out of Iraq by 2013. This is the Pentagon asked the Democratic-led Congress for another $190 billion in war spending, $42 billion more than the Pentagon had estimated, and they will likely get every penny. How is that possible with a newly Democratic Congress ushered in on a wave of voter anger and frustration with the war? Well, watching the lead, leading Democratic presidential contenders last night provides some guidance. And that's why I put forward a bill that would begin a phased redeployment and have all our troops out by March 31st. Will you pledge that by January 2013, the end of your first term, more than five years from now, there will be no U.S. troops in Iraq? I don't want to make promises not knowing what the situation is going to be three or four years out. If this president does not get us out of Iraq, when I'm president, I will. I agree with Barack. It is very difficult to know what we're going to be inheriting. You know, we do not know, walking into the White House in January 2009, what we're going to find. We should be drawing at least 40 to 50,000 troops out of Iraq immediately. Senator Edwards, will you commit? that at the end of your first term in 2013, all U.S. troops will be out of Iraq. I, I, I cannot make that commitment. Colors, colors, colors. My take, it sure seems the Democratic candidates are now following President Bush's lead. He reportedly advised all candidates when talking about the war, quote, don't get yourself too locked in where you stand right now. If you end up sitting where I sit, things could change dramatically. It starts to feel like they're all just prepping for the general election rather than trying to win the primary. No question, this is a different Democratic message than the one we heard heading into the 2006 elections. So what is happening? Is this a new strategy? Here now, MSNBC political analyst Pat Buchanan, Air America host Rachel Maddow, and Nico Pitney with the, Wash the Huffington Post. Thank you all for coming on. Appreciate it. All right. Um, Rachel, new strategy? Boy, I hope not. <laughs> I think it sure that, sounds like it, well, though. I mean, why, sure, why, it, will, why can't any of the Democratic candidates, the leaders, say, I'm going to want out, we're going to want everyone out, and put aside this, this, this canard about the embassy being protected. Yeah, yeah, you send enough troops in there to protect the embassy. Why can't they simply say, we're going to be out? When you actually listen to the language of what they all said last night, they all said, no, I can't make that commitment. I can't make that promise. I can't project that far into the future. But then at least Obama and Edwards went on to say that they had plans to get all the troops out. Uh, they just said that they couldn't promise it would happen. It was just a weird hedging that happened in that debate. I don't think that they're running right now for the general election. I don't think, rather than the primaries, I don't think they could win any election with this line on Iraq. The whole country wants the war yeah. to be over. And if the Democrats aren't going to do it, then Democrats and the majority of the country is not going to vote for it. Right, Pat, you are always very good about bringing this back to politics. Whenever I want to talk about a broad issue, you bring it back to the politics of it. What are the politics of this? Why are none of the leading Democrats saying, yes, we'll be out of Iraq by 2013? I think they're saying that we don't want to make ourselves vulnerable to a conservative Republican attack. Given a deadline, all troops out. Therefore, the enemy will wait us out, and they know they can win. And so I think that's probably why they say we can't come down to the final point and say they're all going to be gone, but we do intend frankly, to, to end the war, to bring the, bring the combat troops home and all the rest of it. But we don't want to give you a solid deadline, and they don't want to be held to that. But so I think they see that as solid vulnerable. Solid deadline is 2013? Well, see, I think they think that they, they'll be hammered. That's the only thing I can explain. Look, if I were up there, I would have said, look, I would expect the combat to be over for the United States within a set period, and I would expect all combat troops to be home. You can't know the contingency about a genocide or an attack on the American embassy back well, there. That, is what, the, that is what they were saying. Well, but, I mean, hey, I think, I think Nico, this is Nico, being... Nico, I'm, I'm going to give you a chance, because I want to hear from you. I want you to listen, yeah. though, Nico, to this particular piece of sound from, from Barack Obama, which seems to me to be the, the sort of... Tw the, the sort of word twisting that, that, that we're hearing here. Let's listen. What I can promise is that if there are still troops in Iraq when I take office, then I will drastically reduce our presence there 
to the mission of protecting our embassy, protecting our civilians, and making sure that we're carrying out counterterrorism activities there. Nico, the president would say all that we're doing in Iraq is carrying out counterterrorism activities. Look, I think this, uh, the statements last night are being overanalyzed. Uh, they weren't asked a political statement. They were asked basically to predict the future. And I think any reasonable person couldn't. I mean, there's a million contingencies. Uh, maybe very, you know, very unlikely, but that, yeah, but that could why keep do Democrats there. Why do Democrats get so bogged down in contingencies? Why not just say but exactly that, what Pat said, which is, if I I'm president, they're going to be out. I'm not saying nothing else could happen. But that's but exactly what they said. They said, if it's up to me, I'm going to try and get them out try. within a year. And they've been, I mean, they're, look, they're not, they're not being elected. They're not running for emperor of the United States. They're running for president. That's not an all-powerful position. Nico, Nico, that would make sense if the question had been, in January 2009, will there be no troops right. there? The question was, at the end of you running the country for four years, will you be able to get troops out of there? Sure. Hillary and, Clinton and, saying, we don't know the state of withdrawal withdrawal planning. How bad could a withdrawal plan be that it would take four years to not get the troops out by then? I mean, it just, it, it, was, a, it was caution to such a degree that I think it's demoralizing to those of us who think the Democrats have a different idea about the war than Bush does. They've got let me, let to Nico respond. Let me let Nico respond. Well, I mean, I agree. I, look, I agree completely. And if I could snap my fingers and, and end the war tomorrow, I would. Uh, but, I, but I think that this is, this is niggling on a, a, a minor point because this wasn't their message. These candidates weren't out there advocating it. They were asked a strange uh, question, and I think they... It's, they, what is, they what's they, strange they about the question? Beat, and they were accurate. accurate. I what's mean, strange? Just, I mean, let me agree them. here, Dan. What's strange I agree. about the question? It is. Look, I agree. Look, you, I mean, when you're running for president of the United States, give me a hard, flat statement that promised to do this, you know, no conditions, and no one wants to do that. I think they do all have plans to get out, and let me say the one candidate, Hillary Rodham Clinton, I do think is maintaining her hold in the center. She knows she's going to run against a Republican who's going to say she's weak on defense, and her party is. Yeah. That's a vulnerability. So she's defending yeah. that, but, but I do believe Edwards yeah. and Obama let me, would have them all out if it were possible. Let me play this from last night. This is real quick. It's just everyone sort of nibbling at, at the bit here, sort of saying that they want the troops out. I believe that we should have all our troops out. It is my goal to have all troops out. I would have our combat troops out of Iraq. I would bring them out. And I would bring them out. Will you pledge as commander in chief that you have all troops out of Iraq by January of 2013? I will get that done. See, it seems, it seems that the, the lesser contenders, as opposed to the top three, are saying, I'm going to have them out. But the top three are all couching it, saying, my goal should have, John. I'd like to, etc." Hey, Dan, yeah. the top three might be president. The other ones won't. <laughs> no, what's going on here, listen, though, is that there's something happening within the, dynamic, within the dynamics of the Democratic Party that explains a little bit that's happening. And that is that the Democrats in Congress actually do have an opportunity to end the war, maybe even before Bush is out of office. But it requires cutting off funding, which is something that's incredibly politically hard to do, but totally possible. Right. And if all of the leading contenders said, Rachel, yeah, we got, got to end the war right now, that. then that they're would create a Pat, final 10 seconds. Rachel, you know as well as I, they're not going to do that. They've walked up that hill and walked back down again several times already this year. They better right. do it. I, I agree with Rachel. Right. I, think, I think you're right there. Nico, good to see you. Thanks a lot for coming on the program. Appreciate it.